Guys, it's your girl Becca, and it's time to find love. Hi, my name's Chioma. I'm 31 years old, and I'm a clinical research associate. And a fun fact about me is that I've done three marathons. Hi, my name is Kathleen Green. I am 31, a marketing consultant, and a fun fact about me, I love NPR. Hi, my name is Nyjah. I am 30 years old. I work in executive retail management. Fun fact about me, I play Call of Duty like, almost every day. So it's fun, I love it, I'm a gamer, and not many people know that about me. My name is Nubia. I'm 23. I was raised in the Bahamas, but I was born here. I'm a nail technician here in Brickell, Miami. And something I do for fun or a hobby is I go out a lot. I, I get to work really good. <laughs> I'm Eva, I'm 32. I am the founder of Heart and Soul Wellness, which is a mental health practice, and I work as a therapist. Fun fact about me is I owned a pet monkey when I was five years old. Guys, so we have five beautiful single ladies. Today, what we have you guys doing is, if you guys, we're gonna have the guys come out, and if you like how they look, you don't pop your balloon. But if you don't like how they look, you don't like what they're saying, you don't like what they're wearing, please. Please pop the balloon. Let us know what you guys are into. So we're gonna call out for our first single guy. Can you please tell us your name? I'm Eddie. Eddie, and where are you from? And tell us what you do. I'm from Fort Lauderdale. Um, I own a few businesses, insurance and uh, digital marketing agency. So we had one person pop their balloon. Let's go see why they popped their balloon. Too short. First woman, as soon as he walks in, pops her balloon. Right off the bat, she doesn't like his height. This modern day, we have this requirement. There's a height requirement for men. You have to meet a certain type of height to even be attractive to many of these women out here. A height that majority of the men don't carry. He popped them before even he explained anything that he's able to even provide, do, or willing to even assist within their lives with. Let's continue. But, uh, so we still have four beautiful ladies that did not pop their balloon. So now, actually, I am going to leave it in your hand. And first, do you have any questions for any of these ladies? Why are y'all single? So our question is, why are you single? Do you want to ask anybody in particular? What that everybody ask? Oh, come on, let's go. By choice. Oh, single by Single by choice, no. Young women and young men, let this be known. No woman out here is single by choice. Y'all are not. The only reason why you are single is because men not approach you or men are not interested in you there's something about you that makes men not intrigued if you're this great woman that you claim to be a man would have scooped you up so no you're not single by choice you can't be single by choice and actively trying to look into the dating market for someone you can't just take time off and be like oh i'm not going to date men for some years although you're still interested in men and want a man to pursue you so you're not single by choice you're actually single because you are not giving the opportunity for a man to even try to be with you. Let that be known. Choice. Just haven't met anyone that's really serious so settled with. But she's looking for something serious. I'm recently single. I've been single for like six months, but I'm a relationship type of girl, so I can't be single for too long. I haven't found a man that wants to travel with cats. The woman in the red. She was a red flag in my book from the jump, just from her coming out when she was trying to explain who she is, that on her spare time, she twerks. So that being her interest, she has no other hobby but to shake her, her backside is already a flag. So now she's single because recently single and is back into the dating market, but she's really looking for a true relationship, which means she was actually in a relationship before that she didn't deem fit to supply her anything that she demanded. And now she's back into the dating market. She's recently single. Now you have the last one here, a marketing woman. She gives off a persona of entitlement already. And she's single because she likes to travel with cats and no other man wants to travel with cats. What man in today's society is, has that on their mind as any form of attraction from a woman? What man is actually out here in the dating market saying, you know what, I don't like her because he doesn't have dogs with her. She lives by herself with no animals. Not one man, they can care less. But this is the reason why she's single. And I see that it makes a lot of sense now. Let's continue. Travel with cats. Do you like cats? Yeah. You don't like cats? Ooh. I like 
question. <laughs> so please tell us your name and tell us why you popped your balloon. So of course she popped a balloon because he wasn't interested in cats. That to her is a red flag. She pops the balloon because hmm, he's not interested in traveling with me having my whole cat army with me when we go somewhere. That is such a, a crazy standard to have in a dating market for someone who's actually interested in men. This is an example that women don't really know men and don't care to want to know them. And now all they're concerned is about is what they like to do and what they're entitled to be, what they are entitled to have, what they're entitled to decide on. It's all about themselves. Who can care less of that if he likes dogs or cats? They don't care. She in particular don't care. But of course, her explanation, she's going to try to make it seem more, let's say, intellectual way of why she decided this. So my name is Kathleen and I popped the balloon because I love a man that can appreciate the feminine qualities of cats and understands how important that is in it being shown in a woman. So, well, why don't you like cats? I would say I'm more of a dog person first. And then as far as animals in general, like the cleanliness, if you're not super clean with your animals, I can't. And exactly. So, you know, that right there, he just explained it well. You got to overrule everything that I am doing for you because you have a clinginess to your cats or your animals, whatever animal you so choose over me. She is choosing her cats over any opportunity of a good man that's out here. And she wants to explain it as the cat having feline characteristics of woman. Who cares? They're animals. We're the ones in society who's supposed to have a bigger brain and are able to think a little more logically than the animalistic ways that are out here. But yet this is one of her excuses on why she doesn't see him, him to be fitting for a relationship. She X's herself out to having any opportunity of a good man with this type of ideal. Well, let's continue. Would you date Kathleen like your type? Yeah, she's beautiful. No, she looks nice. If I find out about the cat situation, that is instant, right? <laughs> Is he your type? He seems like a nice person. I like nice men, but I would say physically, no. Okay, well. He seems like a nice person. She likes nice men, but there's always the but. Now it's his physicality. It's physicality. No, you had to add something else to your list, sweetie, to make it seem like he's not fitting for you. The overall issue she had is the simple fact that he's a dog guy and she's clingy with her cats. And she wants a man to be as clingy with her cats it's just as she is. Within reality, though, in reality, and not the fantasized world that she has, no man are going to be interested in cats like that. Could care less about your cats. They're not providing for your cats. They're not interested in your cats. They're not wanting to be with your cats. So be single. Let's continue. Let's go back here. So we still have three balloons. Do you have any other questions that you want to ask the ladies? What are y'all looking for in a man? Ask one of the ladies. Go ahead and ask just one lady. Let's start with the red dress. With the red dress? Come on, let's walk over to the red dress. Well, my name is Nubia, and what I'm looking for in a man is, I will say I'm looking for a real man. I'm not looking for a little boy. That's hard to find, but if I can find that, the good qualities, then maybe. You okay. Same type of terminology that all modern women want to use today. I'm looking for a real man. I need a real man. I want a real man. And to her, even though she was even in a relationship not too long ago because she was recently single, she got out of a relationship, I guess, because he wasn't a good man or wasn't a real man, so to speak. But remember now, this is the same woman that says in her spare time she likes to twerk, doesn't even have any type of other hobbies to show that she can be valued in a relationship, a real relationship. But she's looking for a real man. This is the same woman who really is bringing out physicality to the forefront because she doesn't have anything else to offer, is looking for a real man. She's still holding her balloon. Let's see where it goes. Do you have any follow-up question? As far as what was wrong with your last relationship at that end? Are you getting personal here or? Hey, we don't judge on this show. Well, why end it? He was immature. Okay. I'm a grown woman. I pay my own bills. I do things. I get things done. You procrastinate. You want to be in the house, cuddle up. No, I want to get things done. We can do that later on. You know? It's always the man's fault. It's always the other person's fault when a woman has left a relationship. They always have to be theatrical with their explanations too. Guys, let this be something that you study. The way the woman presents herself, how she uses her hands when she speaks, 
how she moves her neck when she speaks, how she even dresses her face when she speaks. These are things that you got to look towards because they'll tell you anything to make you think that they're better than what they actually are. And she has no other quality, but from her words, from her mouth, is twerking on her spare time. But the relationship she was just in, supposedly the man was the one at fault. Let's continue. That's the kind of person I am. Oh, you like that answer? Yeah. So let's back up. Before we ask somebody else a question, because we have to narrow it down, I'm going to give you the pen, and you're going to be able to pop one of the girls' balloons. I think we need one more question. You need one more question? Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Who do you want to ask a question? Sarah. Come on. So please tell us your name. My name is Nyasha. Nyasha. That's nice. I like that. Let's meet you. Put my pen away. And why are you single again? <laughs> I really honestly, it's not that I'm not dating or anything like that, but I feel like I haven't found a man that really appreciates the way I love. And I, I'm a very passionate, I'm very, I love love. So it's important for me to show, and I'm a, I'm a gift giver. That's how I show love. I know everybody's not like that, but I'm super affectionate. So I haven't found somebody that really appreciates that. So okay, now that's the key word for clingy, everyone. That is the key word that she likes to be up under, her man. Now, clinginess won't become a problem to most men if you know how to keep your clinginess for when it's necessary. You don't need to be clingy when he has to do things, when he's focused on his purpose, when he's out there making moves in life, when he's home and just needs a break, when he's trying to have some alone time so he can do other things other than just be up under you. If you're able to have a clinginess on where he's like, I, I want to feel you and be with you and be around you, and then you can just show him all that unconditional love, clinginess at some extent can be okay. You have to know for sure that you are able to maintain yourself as well when he's not around. Sometimes the clinginess in women today go to the, sh the extreme of having to find out who else he's clingy with or who else he's clinging to, or who else he's spending his time with, or who else that he has to have time for, and what is he doing besides what he's telling me. And you're going through things, and you're going through his phone, and you're looking for a fight. You're looking for some type of proof that you're not the only one because he needs some space sometimes. Clinginess can actually become a little devious and controlling. So if you can actually have a clinginess that's actually there when he comes through the door, you want to hug him and kiss him and walk over to him with his plate of food and rub his feet, untie his shoes, rub his legs. He talks to you and explain about his day if he's willing so, and you're ear to ear for him and you're rubbing him, rubbing his back. You want to be clingy in the in the, the bedroom or you want to just be all over him and touch him. Those are clingy traits that are necessary, but clinginess that forms into deviousness to become devious and then it translates into a controlling aspect is where men draw the line. So if she has clingy traits and wants to chivalrize her man, I don't think any man would have a problem with it if it's to a point where you are only doing it when it's necessary. You wrap your clinginess around him when he is home and wants to have that clinginess around. You to exit out of a room when he doesn't want to have you around. You know how to give him his space. You can have some clingy traits, but also give him his space. Let's continue. Are you like real passionate and like to be like, like to be like up man. Do you like a woman up underneath you? I'm very busy, but in my free time, yes. Yeah. Gotta get paid. For sure. Do you feel like you got enough questions? Like you're good to make a decision? Gotta ask her. One more question? Okay. So before she introduces herself, what's the question? I wanna know shorter man, because you taller than me. No, that was definitely gonna be a pop. I was trying to gauge personality, but that is a deal breaker for me. So what does it mean? So now the next woman pops her balloon. Two women pop their balloon. The one in the red dress don't have a balloon anymore, and the last one on the left doesn't have a balloon. She pops her balloon because of why. Let's see, shall we? So, he's like a nice guy. Oh, say your name and why you pop. My name's Chioma, and I did pop because of height. So you wouldn't ever date shorter guys? Mm -hmm. So she popped because of height. Now, take notice of this. She popped after, a long time after, the woman in the green popped because of his height. So truly, that was not an, a problem to her. That wasn't a flag to her because she would have popped it around that time too when he walked in. If height was really the problem, she would have popped it seeing his height when he walked in. She's popping it now because somebody else popped the balloon. 
This is the example of the sisterhood, this girl code that these modern women are addicted to. They like to follow suit of other women. They can only be attracted to a man that other women are attracted to. They can only really be interested in what he can actually be capable of if the other woman finds him to have that capability. But due to his height and another woman saying his height, supposedly she has a problem with his height. And now she wants to pop the balloon. She could have had a shot keeping the balloon because in her audition, when she was explaining who she was, didn't sound too bad. All these high-end careers all these women have, of course, are pretty much flags to me being just a housewife. But all of these women that are very attractive could have a shot with a, a man. He came in and he explained himself and he seems to be a productive man in society, a good man, carries himself well, has a nice voice that a lot of women will be attracted to. If she wants to pop it because of his height after the fact, somebody else popped it way before. So there's something else that she want that she is popping her balloon of. And that is because the other woman did. Now, I bet the other woman's going to either have the same excuse or something additional to add on to it. Let's see. Okay. So is Chioma your type? She's pretty. I wouldn't approach her, though, because she would have to show me like, she's interested, and then I will follow up oh. outside approach her. Then we had another pop balloon, so let's see. To sum it up, he's not my type. You just ain't my type. And how tall are you? Like five, 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 seven, five, eight. Five, seven, five, eight. I'm five, six. About the same height. Didn't even work out. No. Okay. Exactly. Now all of a sudden the height's an issue for her. When she was holding the balloon before and he had approached her and asked her of why she was single, she was already able to see his height. But now he's just not her type. She can't even explain why he's not her type. But yet, if we was to roll the clip back, and show on how she says that she's looking for a real relationship. She's not one of those girls and he wants a real man. What's not real about him? Oh, his height don't make him a real man. Is that how we're categorizing it today? That a man has to have a certain height to be considered a real man? A lot of these women don't even know why they are making these excuses up or have even valid points on why they don't find interest in a man like him. They all, all are synchronized into trying to make him look like he's not something that ha that could be carrying any potential relationship because every last one of them are following suit to every last one of them. All the girls are trying to follow suit to each other. The sisterhood, girl code. This is how single women keep women single. This is exactly how. They look around with other women and take note of what other women think of this man. Even if this man could be a great specimen of a man to be able to assist in your life, they still are not going to consider him and overlook him because all the other women do. I take note, fellas, to this, that the reason why women do that is because women are always attracted to a man that attracts other women. They're always going to be. That's just how it is. There's proof in the pudding right here. If the alpha female shows any of these other women that she's not attracted to a man, all the other women are going to find an excuse on why they're not attracted to him either. But if three out of those women said that they found him interesting, the other two will be ready to fight for him as well. It's crazy how women in society today are so competitive with one another, but only group up when man has to be looked down upon and be frowned upon. She's a, red, a walking red flag as it is. So there's really no excuse for her to even look at this man as somewhat of a problem. That's why she said he's just not my type. She can't find no problem with him. Neither one of these women can. Neither one. Let's move on. We still have one more balloon. You, you might have to stand next to me. Uh, so go ahead, go stand next to her. He's right here. You, know, you have heels on and have heels on exactly. Heels. So can I ask him one question? Yes, you can ask him a question. Do you have kids? No. Did you go to college? I did. Where did you graduate? Um, you for information systems. Okay, oh, yeah. HBC, you know, that's still. All right. So what is it giving? I, I don't know. <laughs> hey, if you feeling like that, you might as well pop it. I don't think I'm, I'm super confident, but I do like your fit. I like your vibe. You are a gentleman, though. So we doing? And now the very last woman pops the balloon. Why did she pop it? Can anyone let me know why she popped it? If y'all have something other than what I think, comment it below. Well, this is why I think she popped it. She popped it because everybody else did. She sat there and said that he's attractive. He sounds like a good guy. There was nothing else wrong with him. The height was okay. 
She asked the other two questions. If he has kids, did he go to college? He passed with flying colors on that. Even though I don't think college should be something at, for a man, if he's productive already, that you need to require. But that was a requirement. She asked it. And he has no kids. She still popped a balloon. So she popped a balloon because everybody else popped the balloon. This is why I had this clip, because I wanted to show just how single women keep other women single. This is the perfect example. There was nothing wrong with them, but they had to find everything to be wrong with them. One didn't even have an excuse on why she found something wrong. The other one is because of cats and she's coddling her cats. The last woman did it because of his height, even know that she did it a after the fact that the, the woman in the green did it because of his height. So it's his height. He doesn't like cats, just not the type. Everything good about him, Bamba, pop the balloon every way. Anyway, those are the things that they found to be a problem. And they wonder why they're still in the market. They wonder why men are starting to take notice of this behavior and overlook them. They got these idiotic ideas of standards that blocks their own way of getting into a relationship. They want a black man with no kids all the time. They want a black man doing something. He said he has two businesses. He actually went to college. He was still not any of these women's type. Take note. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Eddie. Come over here. I'm sorry. Unfortunately, all the ladies popped their balloons. It does look like they did have some interest, but it just didn't work out in this round. Maybe next time. Before you go, is there any questions that you want to ask the ladies? Nah, y'all made y'all decision. I feel good. You know, it was nice. I went first, though, so obviously everybody want to see the talent. So that's good. Everything is a fair shot. So whatever chance was a chance. You miss it, you miss it. I wouldn't do anything different. I would just be me still. I like the one that had a balloon last, but if you got to think about it, don't think about it. I'm a first choice. And he finished it off correctly. The reason why all of them decided to huddle up and do that and find something wrong with him as well is because they wanted to see what other opportunities are out there. When women think that they got all of these options of men, they're going to overlook it. They're going to keep climbing the ladder up and passing the steps and the floors that have good men into it to see what is at the top of that building. And when they realize there's no one there at the top of the building, they're ready to jump off it. They won't even climb back down. And if they do so, those men at the time are already married. Those men at the time are already in good relationships because the other woman that actually saw something in them before they reached the top and took them off the market are with them. They want to use the girl code and the sisterhood and all of this to try to make their own decisions in the dating market. You're all going to wind up single and you're all going to stay single. This is exactly how single women keep women single. This was also the perfect example on how women that don't find other that don't find the man attractive from other women would not choose him as well. And there was literally nothing wrong with this guy. He's actually a great prospect. He has no children. He's a young man doing things in his life. He has a purpose. He has two businesses, like he said. He dresses well. Nice voice and persona. Didn't come off to be hood or anything like that. Might have a swag like it, but didn't carry that. And they overlooked him. They had to find everything to be a problem because one, they think they got other options and somebody in, that's going to walk into that door is going to be more fitting for them. Or two, they seen everybody else didn't choose them. Those are only two ways women keep each other single. Now, if they all chose him and be ready to fight over him, he would have to decide on just one. Is that fair? Y'all all want him. He, what, what makes it to where he has to decide on just one? If you all find him to deem fitting, this is what men are trying to explain to y'all. Y'all want monogamy with the man that's most wanted in society. But you overlook the monogamous men that are willing to take you on because you're superficial and unrealistic standards. All modern women in general, women single. And that's why I wanted y'all to enjoy this clip. If you like clips like these, make sure you comment below with a part two. If you want to see the second clip that comes up with the next guy with the same girls, go ahead and comment part two into the comment section and I'll make sure I'll drop the next video. I want y'all to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Click all the notification bells to alert you for all my new updates. And as always, I thank you all for watching.